Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about installing Kali Linux on a Windows machine, because not all the time do you get to install Kali Linux directly into a computer, or do you get a chance to run like a VMware or Oracle VirtualBox within your machine. So to be able to install Kali Linux natively into Windows operating system is a great advantage to speed up the whole process of getting started in terms of ethical hacking and penetration testing. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So over here are Windows 10 running and you can go ahead and click on the start and go to Microsoft Store. And once you're in Microsoft Store, you can actually go to the top right corner and under the search, you can enter Kali. And once you enter Kali, you can actually click on Kali Linux and this will be an application. And you can actually go ahead and click install. So what you can do is you can read over here. So this Kali Linux is for Windows application and it allows you to install Kali Linux into Windows 10 operating system natively. So that's great because it allows you to do so much things within Windows operating system. And of course, there's a description and screenshot of what you see once you have Kali Linux running within your Windows operating system. So again, you may not have access into VMware or Oracle VirtualBox. So this really comes in handy, especially if you're going to do lots of different kind of commands coming from Kali Linux, but you need to run it on a Windows operating system. So go ahead and click install, or you can click on to install on my devices. But for this case, we'll click on install. And what happens, it is going to download Kali Linux and the download can take some time because it is 190 megabyte. And so over here, we're going to give it some time to finish downloading. And when it completes, we'll be able to launch Kali Linux onto your Windows operating system. So we are back and we see that the product has been installed and you can go ahead and click launch in Windows Store. So once you click launch, it will say installing and this may take a few minutes. So it is trying to load and look at the dependencies on your Windows operating system, making sure that you have all the libraries and so on. And then putting all these files in the correct places, in the correct directories, so that you can launch them a lot faster later on. So it says enter new Unix username. So I'm going to type Loy Liang Yang and I'm going to hit enter on that. And I'm going to use a password that is going to be confidential, of course. And this password is going to be useful, especially when you're doing some of the super user command. So now we have the installation successful and we can see that we have Loy Liang Yang at PC. So you can enter ifconfig and you can see a lot of information here coming in. So it is exactly how you are going to use this tool, just like how you use it natively in Kali Linux. And it's a lot of commands, so you can actually do a sudo apt-get and install updates. So this would actually help you actually update the Kali Linux and be able to look at all these packages and so on. And from here, you can actually install more tools into Kali Linux within your Windows operating system, which we'll discover and share more on subsequent tutorials. So there you've seen it, how quickly we could actually install Kali Linux into a Windows operating system natively and be able to run all those Linux commands and be able to run a lot of those attacks directly using Kali Linux on Windows operating system. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.